All right, my people, thank you for tuning in once again to IPOP Media. We appreciate you always tuning in to our channel and watching our videos. God bless you so much. All right, in case you are new to this channel, this is IPOB Media, the place where we bring you the gospel of Biafra. Yes, this is the only channel where you get the latest legit news, information, updates, trends, happenings, events, and everything you need to know about Biafra and our struggle for freedom. Right, we also bring you information happening in Nigeria and around that projects the liberation of Biafra, right? And uh, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comment section and let us know what you think about this video and give this video a thumbs up. All right, um, our brother has come out to, you know, explain what actually happened, right, with Amazon and the Kano, even in detention, detention right now in, in DSS custody. Our Onyendu is a strong man and is one to emulate, right? And is a true leader. Because how can you offer someone, you know, such goodies and uh, the person has refused to, has refused to budge, right? He is, he is, it depicts a strong man, a man who has integrity, a man who is not going to, you know, give his integrity for a crumb of bread, right? And uh, our very own brother has come out to, you know, tell us everything that happened and uh, how it happened. I want you to watch this video and uh, enjoy yourself. And so, my people, the uh, message from our leader, Mazen and the Gano, he has been persuaded to drop Biafra for his freedom. And he has said, no, I am not dropping anything for any freedom. I want my unconditional freedom. Yes, in that message, so many things were said. So many, very small sentences, but they carry weight. The sentence carries so many things, so many things. So the message, our leader, the message where Aloy is my God drop in the name of um, our leader sent him. I want us to understand one thing. That message, that who the problem now? What that program? I did program. I heard the program. So that message. That message where um, uh, um, the Barisaloye Jimago drop, that message means a lot of things. It means a lot of things. Now, maybe we start from Nigerian government. Nigerian government, I don't know why. Make I call him, make I call him back, make on a no verse, permit me. Make on a no verse, permit me. Make I call him back in the call me. Hello? Yes. Thank you to my phone on the live hand on my Facebook. Ah, you can have what I'm seeing now. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, so, um, dear friends, that message carry a lot of things. That message carry a lot of things. Number one, Nigerian government trying to make him give up, make him call the say he want freedom. Why do you think they are frustrating him? Why? They won't make it bow down, they won't make it surrender, they won't make it shout, they won't make it cry, they won't make it say, I know what they get, no, I want my freedom. But the truth is this. The truth is this. Our leader know they're ready to surrender. Masena Nikalu, when you know, every day in skin they become more thicker than it was. Now, Mazen and Kalu don't develop. You see, that prophet, Okwanyona, sometimes says, Simon, Ekba, 
Odo ya kachichi sana Odo ya kachana Nge bujili puji ege Our leader You can't destroy him Even if you think Our leader has been immortalized Mazen Nandikalo Donde Immortalized In this program today I would like calls If you go feel call, you call So now That is one part of it Nigeria is pressuring to see that our leader Mandekalo surrenders Biafra, but he is not surrendering Biafra. That was why, or that is why he said, no going back. Biafra freedom, no going back. Dropping the freedom is no go area. Beginning or bargaining for the freedom is no go area but yes thank you toshi udoshiku thank you forward ever backward never we move to biafra nation that is it backward never now forward 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 nine we they go now that is where we are going so now now very very now as i'm here Another part of it, he says something in that video, in that message, he says something. He is encouraging you to go on. Who, who is he encouraging? He said he thanked those that are fighting for his freedom. Those that are doing everything for his freedom. Those that are doing everything for Biafra to come. Who are these people? Who are there the people in Radio Biafra? Are there the people in the structure? Are there the people in underground? Are there the people in uh, Ghana? Are there the people in uh, writing letter to the Nigerian press? Are there the people that are working with Nigeria? Are there the people that are looking for political position or political solution? No. Now you and me, where they look for freedom genuinely. We that are looking for freedom genuinely, we are not looking for any other thing than freedom. And freedom is all we need. And freedom is all we are looking for. And freedom is all we are going to get. You need action. That is why I say you should call. Call to the program. Take your phone and the call. Take your phone and the call. Call and tell me the action you need. Then I go tell you the action you go do. You need action. You need action. Have you contributed a dime to this struggle? Even common idea, you know, contribute. You need action. Oga, okay? you need action. Call your mama and papa and make them come bring action. Since you know go feed, bring action. You don't wear cap. You don't go enter Europe or you don't enter Russia, Asia. Or you don't enter Arab world. You you wear cap inside house. You need the you, you the snap picture. To tell us say you day rope. Things they good for you. Or okay, you need action. You don't fly from Nigeria. You don't run away. Run enter another man country. You need action. You don't forget Nigeria. You don't forget say your papa mama born you for Biafra land. You don't forget say your schoolmates no get the same opportunity when you get to leave that country. Once you cross the ladder, make the ladder break. No, no, oh, you need action. I want you to call into the program. Let me pin the number. So you call and tell me the kind of action you need. Call and tell me the action you need. You need action. ESN is needing your donation. Have you donated? Show me your receipt here. If you, if you, if you, if, if, if you have supported this struggle, you need action. Those that have not contributed and that are not ready to contribute towards this um, struggle are the people that will come and tell you, Hey, go and kill them. Hey, go and fight. Hey, we want to bomb down Nigeria. Hey, we must bomb down Nigeria. Hey, we must bomb down Oye Pipe. Hey, we must put fire. 
Go put fire now. You get the person where the mark number for your head. He said, "I go put the fire." Make you go put them. We go clap for you. Go put them. Lead the way. Make we follow you for back. You think you can pressurize people into doing silly things? Mad people all over the place. Let me pin the number in case you want to call. Make you call. I won't make you call self. I won't make you call. Make you call. Come tell me the action where you need. What do you want? Come, come, come. Come talk and make you hear you. Mm -hmm. See the number here. I can put them. Um, just a moment at the combo. 632. 8-6-6-3-0-6-6 Yes, call the number if you want to call. How, how I want to pin the number? Okay, uh -huh. now the number is pinned. I wait for you to call. Call and tell us how you want us to do it to come. By the way, you have to call. If you want to ask any question, no, no fear. Call me. Ask me any question where you want to ask me. I go answer you. So that is by the way. So as I've been the talk before, we are on the right course. We are doing the will of Mazen and the Kano. If you go back, go check all the messages that Mazen and the Kano, they write, they send all this why. Who are those that he was referring to? You and me. He said he appreciates those that are doing everything in solidarity to see that he to see that he comes out to see that he gets his freedom in solidarity to his freedom he is happy he celebrates you he greets you he loves you that is the message of Mazen and the Kano. so when you are sitting at home if you love Mazen and the Kano, if you love Biafra, if you want the freedom of Mazen and the Kano, the cheapest price you can pay is to sit at home. If you are in the Biafra land, the cheapest price anybody can pay from Biafra land is sitting at home that costs you nothing. Sitting at home, you don't spend a dime. At least, if you cannot contribute towards the ESM funding, you can contribute. Carry share. Sit down for your house. Nobody that call you make you come out by force. Nobody that come kill you. Ever since people started sitting at home, have you seen any record of people that have been killed by the Funanese? Even self now the sitting at home day nine they go for Enugu go kidnap people for four corner they kidnap a lot of people where everybody see no be secret and people know they see them the only thing where people they see be say uh, you they sit at home sit at home is not good for my people people are suffering Trump butchers don't eat they eat your daily bread they eat your daily basis if they don't go out to work they will not be able to eat a uh, woman when they sell a bacha if you no go out to go sell you no go eat uh, the people where they sell pure water where they fry a cara, where they sell a camo if they don't go out they will not eat yes we know that if you don't go out, you will not eat. What about if you go out and die? Will you eat? I want to ask one question. Like I said, I had to wait for somebody to call me here and ask me a question. So the question where me had to ask everybody where they listen to me or where go listen letter. 
The question is this. Anybody will die in the loop for money. Okay. Those people where they kidnap for Enugu State Four Corner, the same place where the governor they go about from market to market, house to house, they tell people, make on they come out, ignore sitting at home. They kidnap so many people that day. And the question we may have to ask be this those people where they kidnap now. Will it be better for them to be kidnapped or will it be better for them to sit in their houses? Even without food, will it be better? Which one will be better for them? You see, when we, people go to talk emotionally, hey, hey, I see the fire, you say, hey, someone help her. He's suffering people. He's just suffering people. He sit there in Finland, in organized country, and he is ordering people. Rufa, you dem, you be mugu. Rufa, you dem. In short, Rufa, you are stupid for saying that. You forehand for saying that, Rufa. How dare you, Rufa? Rufa, you that travel abroad on daily basis, they go receive one award, they go make teaching, they go. How many people that come your country can receive award, Rufa? How many people, Rufa, don't enter your country can receive award? How many people your country don't recognize as journalists from United States, United Kingdom, everywhere, Russia, Canada, Australia? How many journalists has been recognized in your country as journalists? Yet, the Prime Minister of the African Republic government in exile, Simon Ekba, in Finland, comfortable, is fighting, asking us to sit at home because he wants you to enjoy the same exact thing he is enjoying in Finland. He want the people in Biafra land suffering to end. He want pains and agony and penury to end in Biafra land. That is why he is calling you to stop to sit at home. That is why he is fighting for freedom to come. And that is why we are behind him. That is why we are joining him. That is why we are joining forces with him to making sure that Biafra comes. Whether anybody like it or anybody don't like him, what we want is freedom, nothing more, nothing less. Rufai, you that is saying all this, and your likes are Bati and Co. All of you that are vomiting this against it at home, I am asking you a question. Do you really love Nigeria? Do you really love Nigeria as your country? Do you really love Nigeria as your country, Rufai? And all the people that are against the deceit at home, do you truly love Nigeria as your country? Your likes are the ones in United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, uh, Russia. When you possess your international passport of Russia citizenship, you the jubilate. You go make video. You go show the whole world. You go celebrate. You don't get your passport. I will show you something. I want to show you something. I will show you something. Make you understand. Just a moment. Come in.
You see this thing? This is Spanish passport. You see this thing? Is Spanish passport. See him? You see as a small. You know pig, you know thick, you know white, you know small. See him? But he get value. This thing get value. Pass the whole passport where there for Nigeria. Even Nigerian passport in diaspora. Put together, only this one single one, only this one better pass all of them. What that man, that man sitting in Finland comfortably is fighting for, for you to have something like this. Something that when you have it, if you the work can go anywhere. Listen, in um in 19 in 2007 i was going to cameroon from italy rome roma airport i was going to cameroon from roma airport and i have to transit in um in switzerland so when i come to roma airport i saw two lines and all of us they enter the same flight too these are the people we were sitting down together with in the lobby. Even the one with me with a drink, uh, coffee for bar. I see him. It's time for the other line. That line, a few people did there. If you just go there, you drop your passport, you pass. I see. The other line, it go long. I say, I say, since it's at the same place in America, I go. I go there. I go give them my passport. No, as I stand there, because I hold my passport for hand already. So as I stand for the line, and two people there in my front, and I may be the third person, will be the last person. Then they look me, and the people in the other line, the way long way, way they, they look me. I say, ah, what thing? And they look myself. The way that they look me, they say, this one, uh, you be, you be monkey, or what thing they worry you? I don't know. That is my first time of knowing that. So now, okay, wait. So when the two people come out, he reach me, I go drop my green passport, bam, for table. The man look at me, ask me, where are you going? I say, I'm going to Cameroon. I say, okay, but you have to transit in, um, in, in Switzerland. I say, yes. He said, I'm sorry. We don't stamp your passport here. I say, but, but I saw you stamp people. So I say, yes, they are citizens. I said, me, I'm a citizen. He said, citizen of we. <laughs> the man asked me, citizen of what country? I said, Nigeria. He said, no, you have to go and stand in the queue. I know they forget that experience. Humiliation. That Nigerian passport. Is humiliation. The number is on WhatsApp. Is WhatsApp number, my dear? Is WhatsApp number? That passport is humiliation. I'm telling you the truth. This one not just my experience. Do you know that Cameroon, common Cameroon, their passport get value past your own? Do you know that? You don't know. I went to Cameroon before I was checked out. They had to keep me, search me, make calls, do everything. I was detained in Cameroon Airport, Douala, for more than three hours because I carry passport way be green, Nigeria. If not this one I carry, they go see me, John, sir. They go help me carry my bag. So what I am saying is this. All the people where today, they tell you, hey, don't sit at home. Don't sit at home. All of them get this in. Either America. Either British, either Canada, either Australia, or Russia, or even China, 
or even Dubai, they want their own passport. They don't want Nigerian passport. They are not interested in keeping Nigeria passport. They are interested in keeping other organized countries passport. Yet, they say make Nigeria stay. Make Nigeria day. Make Nigeria day can pay. That is what they will tell you. They, yeah, a person you go say Nigeria day can pay. Make it day can pay. You go tell yourself, Jaffa, don't die. Ask Obasanjo, all in children, for which school they go? All in children get this passport when no be Nigeria own. If you value Nigeria, if you love Nigeria, if they give you another country's passport, you go say you don't need them. Now, Spanish, in Spanish here, a Spanish citizen no need to go uh, 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 um, Cameroon embassy go to the and say he want their passport. No, if you throw a passport, the guy like this you respect it. They go throw your own. If you throw your own, everybody go dodge. They go dodge them, na course. Because if he touch the wahala day, in Switzerland, I was coming from church with my Bible. I was coming from church. Jada Marine stopped me. I wear tie. I wear suit. I dress. If you see me, I dress waiting be same person day corporate. Corporately sweet. Jada Marine see me for train station. They stopped me. They greeted me. Asked me where I'm going. I said I'm going home. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from church. And they saw me that I was coming from church. They left. One of them said, let us ask him, oh, I, I overheard him, there were three. One said to the other two, let us go and ask that guy, maybe he come from Nigeria, maybe he's a Nigerian, and they come back and ask me, where do you come from? I say Nigeria. He say, hey, where you keep him? Waiting and they tell you, God is my witness. They say, hey, where you keep him? Searching. They tear my tie, tear my suit. They, they search for waiting. They, they look for drug. Where you keep them? Your pocket. You put them for mouth. You put them for nyash. You go full us go station. Because of the name Nigeria. Because of the name Nigeria. Nigeria has not done any good to anybody. It's only the people that are lying, that remain lying, that will lie to grave and lie to die. And even in the dead, they will be lying. They are the ones that will be telling you that Nigeria is a great country. Nigeria is not great. Nigeria is not great. Nigeria is a sorrowful, frustrating country. Nigeria frustrates people. Destroys people. That is why you will see a young boy of 13 years old. He want to go and do juju. He want you think that boy of 13 years old have the opportunity to go to school. He will be thinking of going to do juju. You think he have the opportunity to go to school? School. If he needs school fees, he go get them. If he needs school uniform, he go get them. If he needs sandals, he go get them. You think saying go that thing saying one go do juju for money? No. They are thinking towards the juju for money because you some of us you know understand. When you have to work to pay your own school fees, you go understand waiting with the talk. If you, as a person, through your secondary school, you go come back from school, go do laborer, go do brick layer, go do foundation, go carry block, go look for pan canal for inside bush. To pay your school fees. If you did it, then you will understand my sh the shoes. You will understand the kind of shoes I'm into. So, 
if you see those boys, you don't say, hey, their mama no give them training. You don't even know if they have mama. You don't even know if they have papa. You don't even know how they come up to the point where they are. So don't be too judgmental. You don't know the trauma they passed through to get to the point where you see them. That was why they say a uh, shemkuti slap policeman. He should go and face the law. He should go and die in jail. I said to them, no. I'm not supporting that. If na me be shemkuti, any day where I see policeman around me, I go the fear for my life. If I see policemen around my children, around any loved one, I go fear because I go the thing say the police won't kill my family or the police won't kill me or army. All his life, the only thing she will know, she will cut if I pick in where slap police the other time. Everything he know about police and brutality and killing, everything he know about army and brutality and killing. When they never burn him, they burn him. He hear say police come kill him. Mama burn him fire. They burn him. He hear say police throw him. Mama from two story building. They burn him. They hear he come. They see say police kill him. Papa Nigeria army. They carry him. Papa they beat him. They flog him. They take out all your. They burn him body. If now you that trauma go come out, think before you condemn people. I always say. Before you keep people, ask yourself, if I will find myself in this shoe, what will happen to me? Nigeria has not given you anything but pains, but sorrow. Do you know how many people that die in desert on daily basis? In the name of crossing the Atlantic Ocean to come into Europe. Do you know? Go, go. Google it. You have your telephone. Just Google. Last, just Google only last year, 2022. Okay, that one far. Google this year, where we did 2023. How many people have died in the Mediterranean Sea trying to cross from Africa into Europe? No, no, only this year, where you know, say that just five months we did now. Google and make you see. Then you go ask yourself, why are those people trying to cross Mediterranean Sea, knowing that they are going into debt? Knowing that this is not even 50-50. The percentage they have to survive is 10%. The percentage, percentage of debt is 90%, but they still yet choose to go. If I die, make I die. Instead of me to go to Nigeria, make I die for this water. Do you know how many people die in desert? Do you know how many people their organs has been harvested? Do you know how many people that are in prostitution today in Dubai, in Europe, paying bound that they cannot finish for their life? Imagine your sister goes where for somebody Say you go, you go, they do a shower to the pay money. You go pay 30,000, 32,000, 40,000 dollars to somebody. For you, you go, they do a shower with your own body, you do your own pecos. You go, they do a shower, you go, they go give another person money. And the most girls, where they do this, thing, they are all graduates. And you say Nigeria good for you. You say Nigeria is beautiful for you. May Nigeria not happen to you. Because if it happen to you, you will understand why we are crying. If it happens to you, you will understand why we are crying to end this country. Call Nigeria. It has not given anything good to anybody. It has only given the criminals good. It has only done the evil people good. It has only put food in the, on the table of the wicked, frustrating oppressors. 
It's only the oppressors that will come out to tell you that Nigeria is good. Anybody that will come out to tell you today that Nigeria is good and beautiful, that person, you no need mirror to look at. You no need to ask. That person is automatically an oppressor. And every oppressor is your enemy. Every oppressor is your enemy. We die on daily basis. So when you hear fight, people are fighting for freedom, I want you to ask yourself, even if you don't know, ask. Ask. Why are you fighting for freedom? If you don't know, if you don't understand, ask. Does it mean you are not free in the country called Nigeria? And then, the explanation will be given to you before you open your mouth and the blab, the talk rubbish anyhow, anywhere. Ask questions. Ask questions. We don't die enough for have you heard that somebody you know, somebody you love, somebody you grew up with, died? And you ask, waiting kill him now? They tell you, say, a babago kill him. Or they tell you, say, a police kill him. Or they tell you, say, a army kill him. And you ask, what did he do? They say nothing. They say, him be ESN. They say, him be IPOB. How would you feel? You will laugh. You will pray, hey, Nigeria, I love Nigeria. Is it so? If you know, no, no, no condemn people will know. If you know happened to you, no ask the people where it happened to why you know they cry too much. You know they cry because it no happen to you. And they don't pray that it will happen to you before you understand the misery those that it happened to are going through. See them. Ask them how they feel. Then know it from how they feel. Don't experience it. It's not a good one. So when people like Rufai are talking... I want people like Rufai to understand that we have died on daily basis. You see that video now trending everywhere in the social media, in the Twitter, everywhere. Where they we are forcefully taking a young man that has done nothing. Yes, so our brother has spoken well. He has spoken well, right? And uh, our... Onion Dumas and Nandekano needs all the protection, all the support he could get, right? Even in the midst of these troubles. And I believe this thing will be over very soon. I, I believe that, that this year, 2023, everything, this thing will be over, right? Alright, let us have your thoughts in the comment section. Share your thoughts. Tell us what you think about this. If you have something to criticize, please do that in a respectable manner. This is a peaceful community. And also, don't forget to share on all your social media platforms so that this video goes viral and people get to know our onion for who he is, right? Thank you very much as you do so. God bless.